Greetings, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, now, to make up for the lackluster previous part, I think part 13, um, let's do something cool in this next installment. Hopefully, I'm going to call it 14, because otherwise it doesn't make sense and proves I can't count. Anyway, let's go play around with some more stations. Now, the uh, cool part is I did some of the legwork and some of the boring stuff off oh, crap, offline here. Uh, um... <laughs> that was funny. No, I'm not as tired this time either. That just really tickled me. So, uh, remember from the last installment, we had uh, purchased a total of four silicon mines. The good news is they are now functional, and I remembered the trick um, to get things rolling when you don't have what's called a closed loop. A closed loop complex is one that feeds itself. It's able to manufacture everything that every station in the complex needs so uh, meaning it, it supplies all the silicon it needs all the ore all the power all the raw materials and just keeps churning on its own uh, ideally producing an end product but not necessarily there are times where you just want an energy loop that uh, doesn't sell product it just generates energy cells over and over and over and over so that you can keep docking your ships there scooping up energy as you need it and you don't have to buy energy anymore but we're not doing that. We're going to do something simpler. Uh, for now, I'm just going to demonstrate how to get a basic uh, station off the ground uh, just on its own. <clears throat> There's two things you have to do, and we're going to demonstrate that not in C's well, because I imagine you're getting sick of the music. Yeah, I don't know. Who knows? But we're not going to do it here. We're going to go do this in CO's sprite. Now, the other things I did... Where the hell's that gate? That's the north gate. <laughs> I bet it's the other way. <clears throat> so anyway, um, the other thing I did was uh, just manipulated the stock market some more. Do you have a mission for me? Seeker, miss. You are talking? Do you record? We thank you for your call. I... Yeah, I'm tired of you transport missions. I also did some missions. So let's take a look real quick at the stock exchange. I promise I'm not going to do this for a long period of time here. I'm just going to see... Is anything going to turn profitable in the next five or ten seconds? I'm thinking no. It doesn't matter. I've got something on the order of 50 million credits at this point, and I've done enough missions for the Talati that we are now at the required rank to buy the biggest, almost all of the ships. But the one we want to buy, we can. So, those are just going to sit there. So that's fine. If they want to play that game, they can. We have enough to get going anyway. Greater profit. I'm tired of looking around for the gate, so I'm going to let the damn computer tell me where it is. So, computer, you going to tell me where it is? Uh... There it is. I was going to say, how come the south gate doesn't have health? Look at my display down at the bottom right. I'm 60 kilometers away. It's not showing any health. Wait a minute, you can't destroy gates anyway. Never mind. Oh, if you steer with the mouse, it turns off Sita. That's very silly. Get through that gate. Yes, this ship has a jump drive, and no, I don't have energy cells in it, so we're just going to fly it by hand. It won't take long anyway. Profit share. Of course I went through the wrong gate. I've got my other Kestrel set to follow me, so that's what that little green streak was that just zapped by us. <clears throat> it does have a full complement of weapons, such as that, such as they are. Uh, so it'll be able to wait a minute. Can we... were there solar cell or solar panels here? There were. Solar power so anyway, I've got some backup. Alpha. <clears throat> just in case I need it. Let's get some gas and just fly, jump our way over there. So, yeah, Solar I meant power. to come this way. Solar yeah, power. that's my story, and I'm and sticking to it. Alpha. Successfully docked. Yeah, yeah, very good for you. <clears throat> okay, good. We can jump straight to CO's sprite. 
Jump device charging at 10%. 20, 30, 40, 50%. Where's the Kestrel? 60. There's my guy. 70, 80, 90. Jumping. <laughs> He's gonna be trying to follow me. I don't know if they'll jump after you or not. I think if they're set to follow, they just fly the path for it to get to you that way. Well, we'll find out what Entering it does. System the reason we want this shipyard is that it produces more station types, including a kind that we want. I understand that shield production, one megajoule, are very lucrative. They make plenty of money. All you have to do is set them up, and we're going to do that here in a second. Turn them loose, and just watch that money roll in. Plus, there's a military outpost here, and uh, let's see. What's the system look like? Well, the sun's even at 150%. Not bad. Just out of curiosity, let's Asteroid. scan these asteroids real quick. If it's worth it, we can e we can even set up a uh, try to set up an energy loop here. <clears throat> For that, we need silicon. Ooh, two yield Asteroid. ore, five yield ore. Asteroid. And... Three yield ore. Well, huzzah. <clears throat> right, so there's Jack here as far as stuff to mine. That's alright. Not a biggie. Teladi Shipyard. Docking granted. Autopilot activated. Successfully okay. docked. On behalf of Chairman Seo. The Teladi Company is pleased to make profits with such as you. Welcome on board. We totally didn't need to actually park here. <clears throat> I'm just being an idiot today. Right. All we're actually going to do is make a purchase. Let's get further away so we can see this. It's kind of cool. That'll work. That's a big shipyard. Okay. Military outpost. Oh. Oh, you jerk. <clears throat> there, okay. Teladi shipyard. So here's what we want. Teladi, Teladi oh. shipyard. <clears throat> Aha, cool. They will sell us our shield production facilities. What we want, though, is the mighty Albatross. It's a very expensive ship. This is going to knock our funds in half. But who cares? I'm gonna buy one anyway. Ship ordered at shipyard. It comes with trade command software. Ting! <clears throat> now, what can we put on him that's gonna be made any use? Well. Triplex freight scanner installed. Installed. <clears throat> ship can be equipped with weaponry. I don't think we care about any of that at the moment, though. We're going to just be using it locally here. <clears throat> so, let's take a quick look. Infill, what can you, what do you max out at? Oh, wow, six 200 megajoule shields. Okay, jeez. So, we might actually... <laughs> nope, <laughs> can't build those ourselves. at least not here. Anyway, doesn't matter. <clears throat> what we want to do, very first thing, is get our shield production facility. The Albatross has to be docked at the shipyard for this to work. So you buy the thing, I'm just going to buy the one, load it into the Albatross. Shield production facility, one megajoule, boss. Huzzah! Um, also, uh, chip plants are very, very lucrative, so we might as well do one of that. Uh, do one of those. That's going to fill up the entire cargo bay of the, the, the ship, so it's not going to have any space left. Chip plant bought. Oh, cool. We can actually cram a crystal fab 
which I think is what the chip plant needs, but we'll check that. Oh, hold on. It uses silicon wafers and... Oh. Nostra boil, that junk. Right. So if we really want a full loop, <clears throat> we need oil refineries and flower farms to drive this stupid thing. I don't want to do that. <laughs> it's a pain in the butt, and we don't need to. We're actually just going to set up these two stations. We're going to put them next to each other, but we're not going to hook them up just yet. Just going to set them up on their own to do their own thing. And then once we've done that, I'll put a complex construction kit into the mix. We might as well buy one, but I'm not going to use it yet. Complex construction kit, boss. I'm going to demonstrate how to get one station going by itself, then we're going to apply that technique and make them both work together. <clears throat> uh, because you don't have to build complexes. You can just build regular stations and make use of freighters and all that kind of stuff to keep them going and making money. It does work. Complexes are just for more fun when you want to build really big convoluted messes. So, we've got the three components we need on our albatross. Now we tell the thing to back off and get away from the station. Commander Just set it to follow me. And there she is. Big beast. Albatross. Command and we can just park the thing. <clears throat> now, for the cool part. We are going to go ahead and just do this here. And to supply the thing, or to supply our... Uh, come on, brain, work with me. To supply our stations, we're going to need a freighter. <clears throat> Here's what we're going to do. Uh, which of these do we want? I believe the tanker will do the trick. No, we want the hauler. I think that's right. Oh, no, no. Super... well... Yeah, Super Freighter XL. That's the... that one holds the most. Doesn't really matter a whole lot. Just, uh, you want it to be able to pick up everything your stations need. So you want lots of space. Just so we don't lose money if we've just bought the wrong thing by accident, though, let's do a uh, super freighter. And we'll just need the one for now. Ship order. And we are going to... where are its upgrades? What? Are you serious? Well, son of a bit. oh, never I'll quit whining. Where's engine tuning and all that fun stuff? Damn. Try less brakes. Install. Sigh. All right. Well, we're gonna be unupgraded for now. That sucks. <clears throat> Let's look around, see if there's something nearby we can fix that. Yeah, we can send him up there. He can do it. All right. Let's get him going first. He's got a longer trip than the other guy. There's our super freighter. Go park at that trading station, buddy. Docking granted. Command accepted. <laughs> There's our little tiny ship emerging from... Vulture. Super freighter. Emerging from that giant shipyard. <clears throat> right. Now, to actually plant our first station... Albatross. Here's what we want to do. The Albatross has a special command, Drop Station. And it's just, it's basically like using a, a rented hauler to do this for us. We want to plop down the shield production facility first. Now this is where it gets interesting. This is a two-dimensional map of the system, and you can see on the right, as I move, if I use the key, numeric keypad, 4 makes the station come a little closer to us. 6 makes it go the other way. And it moves in the map on the center of the screen, too. If I press 5, it does not do what I was expecting. <laughs> um, oh, I see. It aligns to the grid. Clever. Okay. Anyway, I'm not messing with that. What key do we want? I think it's Insert. Yes, there it is. <clears throat> Notice how it rotates the view. This is a side view. The normal view is top-down, 
as if the elliptical plane of the system were a record and you're looking straight down at the record with the hole in the center for the little pin to go in where you put the record on. <clears throat> if you hit insert, you're looking at the side view where when you go up and down on the screen, you're actually going up and down the Z axis towards your eye or away from your eye in the normal view. We're gonna put this thing close to one of the gates. Let's put it over by the north gate, just for fun. And we're going to put it above the north gate. We don't want traffic jams. That's a mess, trust me. What does five do? That's just putting it near ships, that's dumb. So anyway, we'll move it. Um... Okay, so the gate is right here at 26 or 27 kilometers. Let's just go 10K up, so 37 kilometers. I'm looking at this number right here, these three numbers. Switch back to top down view. Let's bring it in so you don't have to actually fly off to the side behind the gate to get to this. And that looks good. So we press enter. Command accepted. And our big ship drops off our first, not technically our first, but the, the first station that we're actually focusing on. Now we're going to leave the albatross alone for now. Our... what? Oh yeah, that's the one we haven't... Uh... I have other ships doing their jobs too. I've got another hauler doing its thing. Okay, so... The super freighter is the one that's going to be doing the work uh, for our new station. You'll notice the station is lighting up there in yellow again. It's not, it doesn't have uh, stuff that it needs to do its job. We can fix that. <clears throat> we take the super freighter, go to its command console. We're going to do something new. Set the home base. We're going to set it to the new station. Now this adds some new commands to the trade menu once we upgrade this stupid thing with the software it needs. Pain in the ass. Actually, let's get it. Let's send it to the other spot. Wait a minute. Oh, I don't believe this. There's a damn... There's a trading station right here. Docking granted. Command accepted. Oh, I will destroy you. Okay. So I have the target, I, I swear I'm not going to lose my mind today. Let's get him back. <laughs> I love the Kestrels just orbiting us, that's fantastic. Here, let's do a slow one. stupid slow freighter get where it's going, upgrade its engines, and send it on its next leg of its journey. <clears throat> the upshot is you only do this once, and you build a fleet, you can order these things ten at a time, do it in a better way than I just did, and you uh, don't get screwed quite as much. You know, build them ten at a time, add all the upgrades you want all at once, and it's just a lot quicker. But just for showing how it's done, we'll stick with this approach. It's not that bad. That's a enough, didn't it? Alright, so. Super Freighter, trade. Cargo bay, rudder, rudder optimization, singularity, engine Sweet. time accelerator installed. Okay. Now, it still doesn't have the command it needs in the trade menu, so we do have to send it off on its own little mission. And I'm going to set my other Kestrel to go guard him, because that's just the nice thing to do. Now the bummer is, the nearest place that sells this crap, I believe, let's go make sure, is Legend's Home. But let's look around just to make sure. What do you guys sell? Jack shit, oh. Uh, nope, nothing new there. Thruk's Beard. Sounds like a personal problem. 
Nothing. Wait a minute. There's a split trading fork, but I don't think they've got much of use. Nope. Hatikva's Faith. Nothing there except a Maison Mill. Aladna Hill. Trading Station. Nothing impressive. Military Outpost usually doesn't have anything useful. Nope. Aquila's Beacon, we know, doesn't have anything. So, yep, it's going to go all the way over to Legends Home. Huzzah. Guess I should have done this in advance, too, huh? All right. Legends Home it is. Go park at Otas Headquarters. Docking granted. Command accepted. Vulture. Super Freighter. At least he can move faster than 30 now, so he can go 60. Hey, Kestrel. Kestrel. Why don't you go guard that dude? Command accepted. Damn, the other ship is already out of the system. Anyway. So the first step you do, the first thing you do is set a freighter's home base to the new station you've just put together. The final step is to activate the, uh, I believe they call it, commercial representative or commercial agent. We'll get that going here in a minute. Uh, the upshot is that starts out kind of stupid, but it gets better as it gets more practice, which is really a neat, uh, neat bit of hackery. Um, it flies around, buys what the station needs, and brings it back. So it takes time to get started, but eventually it's it's off and kicking. Now, we can also kickstart our station another way. Where is our station? Map. Oh, right, it's above the north gate. Shield production facility, one megajoule, alpha. Okay. We adjust station parameters. One of the things it lets you do is, of course, it lets you set the price of everything that you're selling, which is fine. This thing needs energy cells, ore, and nostrum oil, but we're going to use this credit transfer thing. We're going to give the station one million credits. Funds Just transfer. highlight credits, start typing, one million, press the left arrow, and a million comes out of your account and goes into the station's account. We leave the <clears throat> uh, trade with other races option set to yes, so that other races can dock, sell their wares. So if anybody's passing along and is selling energy cells, ore, or nostrum oil, they'll park, sell their crap out of the station's funds, and the station can do start doing its work. So while we wait for that slow-ass freighter, to go get the equipment it really needs, um, our station might actually get starting uh, start to get to work. Now, in the meantime, I'll show you in C's well what it looks like when you've already done that. And here you go. These stations are not angry. In fact, they are producing. They've got plenty of energy cells. These are uh, silicon mines, so they're just producing silicon wafers. Now, they're full of silicon wafers, um, so they're not really producing anything at the moment, but they're ready to go as soon as somebody comes along and buys the silicon wafers or feed them to use in our own factory somewhere else, they'll start producing again. I believe they are all in that state. Oh, no, nope, this one's producing. So he's 53% through. Uh, got about 38 seconds left to go on the cycle. It takes a minute, 29 seconds, for these for these stations to produce two units of silicon wafer. So you can see that's a little bit slow. That yield goes up, I believe. Or is it the cycle time comes down? It doesn't matter. You get more for the same unit of time out of a higher yield asteroid than out of a lower yield one. I think they're all either nearly full or full. Two are full and two are producing, so whatever. That's what they look like. Each of these has one ship that's set as a home for the... Or that's set to their home, uh, to each of the stations as a home base. 
and they're off doing their own thing. I don't think they've got landed ships. No. You'll notice there's owned ships. This one has two, because I was screwing around. And the owned ship lists where everybody is. And yeah, this guy is off buying energy cells right now, so that's kind of cool. Now, uh, since I've kind of spoiled how we're going to do this anyway, let's go ahead and set up the complex so that this is a little bit less annoying. Uh, yeah, so albatross. grab the albatross. By the, by the horns? Do the albatross have wings? Right. Brain. Okay, anyway, special command drop. We're going to drop the chip plant right next to the station we already have. Zoom and eh. I think seven? No? Nine? No. Asterisk. It's one of these bloody keys. Home? Home, okay, right. Home zooms in and zooms out. What does delete do? Oh crap. Well <laughs> we know that now. Right. Chip plant one more time, you bastard. Zoom in. You don't want to park it too close, or else it'll smash into the existing station and slowly whittle down the shields and hull, and one of the stations will be destroyed, and that sucks. Trust me. Oh, yes, it's lifted up to the same altitude. Altitude, same position on the Z axis, anyway. Alright, that looks good. Command accepted. Albatross! Good, 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 good. That should work perfectly. Good spacing. Happiness abounds. Alright, now for the magic sauce to make these two stations link together as a single complex. What we do is the special command, drop station, complex construction kit. Now this works a little differently. First, you pick a station. Then you pick another station. Then you identify the position of the docking ring where the complex construction kit is actually going to sit. That's where your ships will dock. This gets more complicated when you start combining complexes, which is how you build really big complexes in the first place. You keep adding, every time you want to add a new station to an existing complex, you have to have the station and the complex construction kit to go with it. So you always have to buy kits along with your stations. You place the station where it's going to go. Then you plant the new construction kit, selecting the new station and the old construction kit. Then it links it all together. Not going to demonstrate that right now. I just wanted to explain how it works. So first we pick our chip plant. Then we pick the shield production facility. It thinks about it for a second. Now we get to pick where we're putting the station. I think what we'll do is uh, we'll put it underneath the first station we planted, but we'll go lower with it. We'll just go five kilometers down to about, say, 33. I guess that's four kilometers, but that's okay. That's down here again. All right, so we hit enter. Command now we see some new magic. There's our complex. <clears throat> now let's go have a flyby. Where's my damn complex? Come on, where's that indicator? It should be on the screen here. Where did it go? Who ate my complex? It's a little frustrating to me. I'm usually a lot better about this. Well, screw it. <clears throat> now you'll notice we don't have two stations anymore. We have a complex hub. Same thing. It now has two products. It has four resources that it requires. And intermediate product training. Buy, sell, or none or buy and sell. 
Um, basically, this means for stuff that gets produced within the complex that other parts of the complex use, do you want to sell the stuff, that kind of stuff, or do you want to just buy it? Or do you want to buy and sell, leave it wide open? Or you can do none, meaning don't even you know pretend all the intermediate stuff doesn't exist at all. Nobody can poke at it. It's all internal use only. We're going to leave it set to buy so that this thing can get off uh, <clears throat> get off its uh, butt and start doing some work more quickly. So we're going to leave these parameters set because we'd already transferred the money. It combines all the funds of all the existing stations into the one complex. <clears throat> now we do need to tell the super freighter. Oh, wow, they fixed that. Okay, so it knows that its home is the complex hub. Huzzah. Now here's something kind of cool we can do. Uh, we can rename the thing. So instead of it being your complex hub alpha, let's call it shields and chips. Alpha. That way we have some idea what the hell the thing does. That's it. <clears throat> we have ourselves an angry, not currently working, but installed and ready to go station. Let's go look at the thing. Oh, where is it? Set it as a target. Complex oh, hub. There it is. Why didn't it show me that a minute ago? Bloody thing. Alright, so there's the gate. And here's our station. Kind of neat, huh? It's all linked by tubes. And I'm not seeing it drawing the tubes. Where are the tubes? You know, I'm okay with that. The tubes kind of suck anyway. They make things look a little ugly. That's weird. I haven't installed anything that would get rid of the tubes. I've actually just got the one set of scripts installed, but apparently there's something else installed. Normally there would be uh, connectors connecting all these stations together, but <clears throat> anyway, that's how it looks for us. So, uh, huzzah. <clears throat> now we're going to turn CETA on here. Let's turn that back on with the map on. Where are these guys going? Where is he going? He's returning home. Oh, you stupid, stupid bastard. <clears throat> I want you to go to Legend's home, please. Dock at Otas. Docking granted. Command accepted. Man, he turned around when we set the ship to its new home. Lame. Yeah, that kind of sucks. You have gained recognition. Oh yes, incidentally, the more you do this, the more rank improves automatically. Because every, all of your trading ships are constantly doing transactions on, on your behalf. So every trade improves your standing with whoever you're trading with. <clears throat> By doing it this way, you can essentially eventually get your rank up with just about everybody. And I think that's all I wanted to show for this one. Yeah, nothing much nothing much else exciting I can think of. Um, my rank isn't quite good enough yet to buy one of the horribly beweaponed big monsters from the Talati, but we're pretty close. All right, Kestrel, don't slam into him while he goes through the gate. Okay, good. <clears throat> so, they're in the next system now. Now they don't have to wait for in-system physics. They'll get there much quicker now. I should make him stop while I'm thinking about it. 
<clears throat> let's park him at one of the solar panels or solar cells. Solar f solar power plant. Gosh. Talking granted. Command accepted. So they can gas up for the return trip. I love that there's a pirate base right there. I'm not planning on doing any stations in that system for sure. So that would just be stupid. <clears throat> now we have reached a point where soon we're going to start needing um, some defenses, some ships to protect our stations. For now, we're building an established safe space so the odds of our sh uh, stations being shot down are pretty slim. <clears throat> but eventually, we'll want our own sector, and that'll mean our own fleet to protect everything. Okay, so, the super freighter. I'm gonna buy up all the energy cells they have. Energy cells bought. Oops. Now, continue your trip. Yeah. All the way to Legend's Home. It's crazy. I wish more places in the universe Talking sold uh, jump drives Command and such. Accepted. But they don't. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's really it. Um... I'm going to let this guy do his flight. I'll pause the recording. I'm not going to make you guys watch that. <clears throat> but uh, when I get it outfitted and, and return back to this system with the station, we'll park it and show you how that all works. So I will see you guys after the cut. And poof! Just like magic, the thing returns. And time passes. You didn't have to sit through a bunch of stock market junk. Okay, so, uh, got the super freighter parked all the way over at Otas headquarters. I've upgraded his equipment, so he's got a jump drive, and a bunch of useful commands, and all that fun stuff. So, should be good to go now. Let's bring him back here. We're going to jump him to the north gate, which is right by our stations. Command accepted. We're going to leave that poor Kestrel behind. <laughs> because I'm an asshole. Now before not too long here, we should see... There we go. There's our little dude. Vulture. Super Freighter. Docking granted. Command accepted. Alright, now we've told him to park over at our station. Shouldn't take him too long to get over there. Parked it close for this reason. For slow ships to not have to lumber too hard or far to get here. <clears throat> now I'm going to be annoyed if that command is still not available. It's easier to fix though, at least. But I will make you watch that. If I have to no suffer, end. so do you. Complex hub alpha. <laughs> Alright, so anyway. Commands. Trade son of a Okay, what the hell are we missing? Trade software. Son of a okay. Right. Jump to sector. Seize well. We can fix this really quickly at least. Go to the west damn gate. Yes, that's Command fine. Accepted. Vulture. Super freighter. Let's watch him jump out of here. Ah! Aim. At 
placed out of sector. It doesn't take too long to park. Wait, did we tell him to go there? No, we did not. Oh, just go to the shipyard, you moron. Insufferably dumb ship. I should have bought everything here in the in Seas Well. And Yeah, anyway. Lesson learned. The lesson being demonstrated here is that you do not necessarily have all the right stuff to outfit a fleet and set up your stations in the systems where you want your stations. That's why it's generally better to have your own carrier like the Albatross um, so that you're not... so you can jump around where you please to uh, position your stations where they need to go without worrying about all this flying around to equip things like I've been screwing up and doing anyway. Alright, so let's upgrade this monster. Best, best boost a carrier can do. Oops. Scan oh. Explorer commands. Minerals. Navigation. Oracle. Patrol commands. Or special command. So trade command. Trading. Incidentally, if you install a triplex and a duplex scanner on a ship, the triplex wins. The game doesn't punish you for being that stupid. Except for taking your. Except by taking your money. And it did that cheerfully, because I'm an idiot. But, we should have a much expanded, there we go, much expanded trade menu now. So let's jump back home. Actually, let's set the commands here. Uh, auto jump, yes. Navigation, dock. We should be able just to bring him straight here now. Docking granted. Command accepted. Holy crap! That oh, that's albatross. That's our albatross. Right, I told him to come over here. That <laughs> scared the piss out of me. <clears throat> That's a big mother. Alright, now we should see that super freighter pop right out of that gate. Why aren't we? Do I have to fire this guy? This captain? Huh, looks like I do, because he's being an absolute moron. Jump and fly to station. Can't believe that's a separate command. Docking granted. Jump, command you moron! Accepted. Jump! <laughs> There's a good reason to jump, because there are three nasty ships that can like in the system that can lay waste to you if you're not careful. Hurry it up. Okay, good. He jumped. There he is. Now move your brain dead ass up into position, please. That came out wrong. <laughs> anyway. So you don't actually have to park him at your station when he's set to a home station to start this off. All we're gonna do is, uh, Vulture, super freighter. Now that he's in the right system, we're gonna go to the trade menu, and okay, you do have to land him, son of a bitch. I'll just let this go. Yeah, come on, come on. Of course, he's going to take his time parking, as they always do. No aim. Complex hub alpha. Right, super vulture. 
Command Trade. There we go. Commercial representation. We're not actually going to set any options here. Nothing special, except maybe jump drive. Yeah, let's set him to use the jump drive. Why the hell not? And we'll look at trader settings. Take training. Yeah, nothing special in there. Yep. Ooh, automatic naming. That'd be kind of handy. This will be ship number one for factory number one. Why not? Rename settings. FN and SN. Sure, why not? All right, so start commercial agent. Command accepted. Waha! All right, looks good. Buy Nostrup oil. So cool. As you can see, he's already taking off and heading off to do his thing. Now, in the meantime, our station is still, if I understand, if I remember right, is still pissed off because he's missing stuff. Yeah. Got energy cells now. But does not have any Nostra oil or, or silicon wafer. So he's going to go pick those things up and come back with things. So that's how you set up a station and a complex. In a couple of hours of game time, this should, uh, of not real time, but, you know, CETA in game time, uh, the station should have all it needs to run and actually start producing both microchips and shields. And those sell like hotcakes. You can see... Ooh. Oh, sorry guys, it's getting, uh, I guess, late, early for me, whatever. Uh, you can see here, shields sell for a good amount of money, and microchips do too. And uh, they will sell like hotcakes. You can never make enough microchips. It's just a weird thing about uh, X3. So anyway, um, that's it for this installment. Um, in part 15, we'll figure out something more interesting to do. Maybe get into some fleet battles or something like that. Got to get the, the ranking up a little bit. Might build a bigger complex. Who knows? But anyway, we will uh, see when we get there. So thanks for watching and tune in for the next installment. Until then, thanks again, folks.